question. You Questions. hit it. Okay, whenever you're ready. All right. Standing here with Gordon Lamp of Lamp Snow Removal. He's working today in blizzard conditions uh, here in Des Moines. Uh, Gordon Lamp, uh, how long have you lived in Des Moines? Uh, 49 years. And how long has your company been around? 27. How does today compare to previous storms? Uh, we've had numerous ones like this. Um, the duration of it is grueling. It's just going to be, it's basically going to be a two day storm nonstop. When did you start? When did you, your plow start? Uh, the crews went out one o'clock this morning is when we left the shop. How many crews do you have? Uh, about 15. And uh, what sort of, how do you start in a blizzard like this? <laughs> what, where do you begin? Well, you, you basically you begin um, on your high priority locations. We do, um, we're primarily a zero tolerance company. So we take, they, they want everything done. So they want it to look like 4th of July. It's hard to do like today, uh, but we do a lot of banks, um, lawyer offices, that kind of stuff. So you just, you, you have your route and you just hit it. In terms of, of the caucuses happening this weekend, uh, has it changed how, how you're doing this? Is it um, the, 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 the downtown area is a higher priority just with the foot traffic. Um, other than that, not really. It's just trying to keep everything open so people can get around. Are you planning a caucus? I am planning to caucus if weather allows me to. <laughs> Do you, do you think, how long is it going to take to get through this storm? Uh, we're going to be working on this for the next two weeks. I mean, with all the skid loader work and moving snow piles and everything else, it's, it's, if we don't get nothing, we're busy for another two weeks. Skid loader? Skid loader. What's that? A uh, piece of equipment that we use to move snow. Uh huh. Do you, do you name your equipment? I know some people name no, their No, no, <laughs> not really. Not really. We, we, we got a couple of trucks we call Betsy and Sally and that, but. Other than that, we keep it pretty straight and narrow. What's your expectation? What conditions are going to be come caucus night on Monday and people getting around? It, 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 getting it around, we should be cleared up enough as long as the wind stays down to get around safely. Um, it's going to be brutally cold. Uh, so do you have a candidate in the race? Um, not really. <laughs> what, uh, what's it going to take? What are you listening for in, in, in your politics? Um, basically get rid of all the bull stuff. Just did somebody straight and narrow, straight to the point. We want to get stuff done, and all the whining needs to stop. What's the uh, what's some of the examples of the whining that's happening here that's holding things up? Um, there's too much whining across the board. I mean, everybody's whining at each other. Get to a certain point and just go with something. It just make it make everything a lot easier. What are your uh, what are your top issues right now besides get rid of the whining? Um, abortion's a big one. Women should have their own rights. I think um taxes are huge um and the tax reform for small business is huge i mean the taxes eat us up and insurance regulations is huge making everybody play on the same level if you caucus uh, would you say you're going to caucus with the democrats you're going to caucus with the republicans you i'm i'm an i'm an independent so i'm going to go with who i feel is going to do best in each situation uh, in terms of uh, your company, how big is your company? Um, right now, um, we're right around 45 to 50 uh, individuals out right now um, is usually r roughly where we stay. Um, we brought a couple extra on for this storm just to help with the load, uh, but we're right around 50. Business-wise, how you been doing in recent years? Um, we've been doing we've been doing really good. Um, COVID was rough, rough on a lot of people. We um, got more busy. Um, so, and we just haven't stopped. A job you could do during COVID? Is yeah, well, a... we, we do uh, all kinds of property services. So during COVID, when everything was shut down, everybody wanted to get, improve their property. So it just continued on from there. You said your cruiser uh, started at 1 a.m. as more plows oh, yeah. go by us. Uh, how long are, uh, what's a, a shift for a crew? How long are they going to be? Uh, well, my guys are Ironmen. We uh, we just go and we don't stop. A shift, I mean, I till last night I slept for four hours um, and I went 36 hours before that. Uh, if, if somebody's never done a snow plow before, uh, top three things they should know about running a plow. Um, watch out for the idiots. Um, know your surroundings and watch out for the idiots. Uh, are the campaigns getting in the way of you doing your job or no? Uh, no, no. The, the traffic in downtown Des Moines is uh, even hectic for a day like today. Usually it's, it'd be almost dead with the storm like this. Um, but other than that, it hasn't bothered us too much. Lamp Snow Removal is the name of the company. LSR Plus. L LSR Plus, yes. Thanks for the time. Thanks Thank for you very much. Here. Appreciate it.